Alright you guys, welcome back to Small Slayer Spire and welcome to another daily. Today we're playing as a silent with Curse Run. Whenever you defeat a boss, become Curse, your starting relic is replaced with Curse Key, Dark Sun Bright, and Duru Doll. Vintage normal enemies drop relics instead of cards, and binary card rewards contain only two cards. So a lot of relics on this one. Some big scores, especially for the silent, which is to be expected with uh, at least these two modifiers, so let's get it going. Okay. One, two, if you go that centre path. I think we'll hit two question marks. We'll start here. Because we want to weave as, uh, we want to hit as many enemies as, as possible. Any, as many normal enemies as, as possible. Hey, Jal, how are we doing? Not the card I wanted to play. I mean, I would have played it anyway, but... Not in that order. Okay. Good start with Strawberry. Yeah, I'm doing well. Doing well, thank you. Couldn't kill either of them, so have to do it this way. Same again, we can't kill any more of what we have. We have enough block regardless, so take them down to 1 HP. Got a good little emote for that. If you can remember what it is. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. I've gone the wrong way already. No, this way's right. Uh, do, do, do. Ninja scroll. Okay. I'll take that. Once we got some strength rolling. That'll be very, very good. Uh, you are dead. Okay. Serves in six as well as massive early on. Then we're going this way and then up. Something like Shuriken as well is obviously very strong um, with the Ninja Scroll. Okay, you're in Wii 5. We're not weak, which we are. So, just ignore me. At least you were one that was attacking. So we got lucky with who we picked. And you're dead. Okay, yet to take damage so far. We'll see how long that lasts. Do we actually starting to get the strength up there? You always ignore. True. Ah! It board Val's very nice. I'd rather have the relic than an upgrade, I think. Taking a little bit of damage. That's fine. Wood Bow will sort us out as long as we don't take any more. That's a great turn. You're dead. Toxic Egg, very nice. Okay, first elite. So our first option to add a card after this fight as well. Ooh, and we are going to take damage. This is annoying. I probably could have gone for you and killed you, but it's not really ideal. It doesn't matter. The main problem is we have just standard cards. Might have been better to get a perfect 
Yeah, but then I think the following turn we wouldn't have been able to get 18 block. And I didn't actually do the maths, so I didn't see. I don't know what happened with that days then. He went in the discard pile and came back. I'm not sure how much like damage we actually put out there. Oh well. That is good. Ooh, I like both of these. I take crippling card. I think it's a stronger card. But both of them were upgraded thanks to Toxic Egg. This will wake you regardless, so it means it'll just wipe you. And we got our first strength as well. Something I uh, failed to notice. Wet Roper makes it more viable that we can play blocks most of the time as well. He is dead. This is going to be strong for us. We've already played... Well, we've played zero skills. So it didn't matter about playing those blocks. I could have played those actually and got... Um, some got a wire open from it. Missed out on five damage. It doesn't matter when he's already dead. Maybe just start with Crippling Cloud. I don't know. We'll probably get something like Lantern. He's already weak. So we. We're going to take damage either way. It's only two, which we will deal with the next time we go into a room, anyway. Or at start of each combat, yeah. Which is next room, anyway, so. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. The only thing you'd want as well as that is, um, is it a specimen? It transfers poison over. That'd be a really nice pickup, along with the uh, Drifling card. Okay. Right. Yeah, the head and the jar thing. I think we need more attacks, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna risk a skewer as well, and I'll take a dodge room roll. Because we're just not getting... We're not getting cards, are we? I'll take a well laid plans as well. It's, it's a good card. And then, let's upgrade and neutralize. It's probably one of the strongest... Uh, like, vanilla card upgrade. And what made us start with so much energy? Uh, Ancient T set. May as well dodge and roll. And then that for letter opener. So we'll pop the thorns as well, because that's probably advisable. He's already weak. I was hoping for like a dash. Dash would have been nice. But well, that's probably your best play. And I guess just... He took a fair bit of damage in return, so... I didn't see the teaser. I forget it's that, because I remember the old, like, dinner tray thing, but you saw, like, a, a battleship. I 
forget it actually looks like a tea set now. And if you've ever seen the old thing, you'll remember it all like that shit. Keep a defending hand, just in case. I want to keep that curse in hand. Why wouldn't I? Okay, not bad, all things considered. It has to be adrenaline, even though we need more attacks. Adrenaline is so much stronger. Ooh. This is a difficult one. This would give us one card choice. But we don't get many card choices anyway. I think calling bell. We could always get something like Wanton. Don't want Armory, we'll take Wing Boots. Okay, question now becomes was it worth it? So we've got two. And easily hit three. You go this way. I mean, technically, you can hit four. Go ahead for that one. I'm gonna hit two question marks, I think. Oh, normality's a killer. I have no way of discarding it as well. So, one, two. Normality was the worst pickup. All the rest I can live with. Normality is. Probably the most annoying curse. But yeah, we can get uh, the specimen as well. I'd be super happy. I guess we'll have a well laid plans in hand. Pain's also an annoying curse. Especially when you draw it turn one. One, two, three, I guess. Our strength does save us when we actually get to attack. Stone calendar, very nice. I'm gonna continue with this path. I know we've got pain in hand. I'm aware. Oh yeah, I want to keep that in hand as well, please. Yeah, boy candle or gambling chip would be very good as well. I mean, it's a good chance we're gonna pick these up, by the way, like. Getting a relic every combat. There's only like 50 relics in the game. There's one. Guess we'll go with that. Look how good like the specimen would be here. Or a catalyst for that matter. Would be good as well. It looked to kill him with blocks. It's always fun. Probably should have discarded the pain first, but... Yeah, taking like a runic pyramid when you have like loads of curses is so bad. Hey, blue candle, excellent. It's a plain normality first. Now we just want like Basically something that gives us um <laughs> like rupture, basically. I know we can't get rupture with this build, but what with this character. But we can if we get Prismatic Shard. Nunchucks, very nice. Accuracy wouldn't be a bad call. 
But we've only really got Cloak and Dagger that gives us more ships, so take the Dagger Spray even though it's not graded. We'll come here and then we'll come back. Let's start there. Obviously Modified Hand would be good as well for the powers that we do have. Oh, I hate drawing into it. That's... That's the worst thing. Just still let you play it if you've got Blue Candle. Actually, it's good with a starting hand, yeah, but we've already had Bottle Tornado, so we wouldn't be able to guarantee getting it in the starting hand. But then after that starting hand, we have one card that gives us two ships in a 26 card deck, so it's very unlikely to come back around. I'm going to take a Noxious Fumes, so come back here. Like if we hadn't already got Bottle Tornado, then you've, you know, you've got, you've got an option there. I'm gonna draw first in case we draw into something like normality, and I'm gonna play Doubt just so we don't get weakened next turn. Yeah, we're weakening a bit of damage like every turn, but. It's survivable so far. Oof, I guess Dagger Spray. Okay, Lantern's very good as well. No guaranteed shop, so maybe we'll go here. question card. Gremlin Horn would be nice for four fights as well. Gonna hit with question marks looking for a shot. We have a fair bit of money, so it's not a bad option. The nib's nice. Okay. Hmm, difficult one. Honestly, Ginger is very nice, but it uses like all our money. I think Bane is worth taking. I think Cloaking Dagger is worth taking. I'll take a Cow Drops. I'll take a Trip. I'll take a Destruction. I'll find them. Just buy out all the cards. We need to sort of forward our deck so we don't see so many curses, I think. Definitely should have taken the accuracy now with all these poking daggers coming around. Okay, very nice. Let's upgrade a sucker punch. That was a pretty big first turn. Followed by what looks like it's going to be a terrible second turn. Uh, I can kill one of them, but I can't kill both of them. Uh, no. No, I can't. So this is going to be a bit of a waste, but... Let's do something like that. Yeah, 
that sucks. Yeah, we weren't far off at perfect, but obviously didn't get it. Take die, die, die. And the fusion lamb is not the worst thing at this point. All the cards we add are pretty much upgraded, so. Great. One, two, three, easy four. Start here. Play that first. You're all dead. Kunai, excellent. Let's go here, guaranteed relic. As long as we, you know, survive. That hasn't been too big of a problem. Start there. Take a little bit of damage. It's fine. Turn it. Excellent. I don't think I've ever had so much HP. Even in uh even in a daily. I mean, I probably have, but I can't remember. Okay, we've got the curse added to our deck, which is very nice. I'll always a strike, absolutely. Uh, we'll become cursed. It's not the best option. Even on a curse run, but... With the uh, bag of prep, it kind of... counteracts it a little. we just play Storm of Steel. Okay, that's a fair bit of damage done, turn one. You can go. Oh, we had to draw normality all the time. All the time. As soon as we play three cards. I was like, yeah, it should be safe to play three cards. I'm gonna take another crippling card. It's worked wonders for me so far. It's so good upgraded. It really is. Uh, spiky boy is a bit of a problem, but I'm still gonna have to overcome with that. Now everyone's dead. Sometimes it's worth it to take a little bit of damage. Okay. We are going to miss any shops, but I think we've got a decent deck. Should always draw first. Yeah, but then, like, I don't know. So annoying. We're so close to killing you. Runic Dodo deck's very nice. I'll take a riddle. Absolutely. Works very well with strength. Sometimes I just don't see the cards. Right, we're going to accept a little bit of damage here. To basically kill everyone. We have to rest anyway, so we will get back into runic territory. And start the fight with, you know, 7 energy. Just for the walls. Anchor's a big help as well. 
we just got that right. Okay, draw first. I'm gonna play this for time dilation purposes. Might have helped, might not. No, take a muscle stab. We don't really get hit that often. So it should stay relatively cheap. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can afford to do that, yeah. Oosh. 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 Shuriken. Very, very nice. Just for our first turn alone, really. Just riddle him with Pendant Bin. Corpse Explosion is very nice. We are going up against the Time Eater, which may be a problem because of our first turn. Let's just drink all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because there's three cards next turn. And he's not attacking. 10, 11, 12. That works perfectly. He is going to heal to half, is he? Yeah, he is. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We do take damage. We'll put this. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, it's working well so far. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, you like dead, just fall over. Yeah. 12, 17. Not super high, but we didn't get like any perfects, I don't think. No. We got four perfect elites, which is nice. Extra point for curses. Bit of money made. Obviously a lot of relics. See where that sticks us. 117th place. Which isn't bad. Obviously, like I say, if we got the perfects, we would have been like, what, 1317 ish. And then if everything else went the same, then you're looking at like top 40. So, not too bad, can't complain. There you go, guys. If you like this episode, do hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for all relevant things in all relevant places, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, folks.